so many fans have said that this game is the start of something special. Maybe it's a new year, a new decade, but to appreciate where Tennessee is going, we're taking a look back to where it was in 1951. Coast the middle. Maryland is offside, and it's first and five for Tennessee. This is a guy who did his best to help others understand his coach and to keep that legacy alive. Andy Kozar on Tennessee's 1951 national championship team, a three-year starter for the Vols. Payne hands off to Kozar, and Andy gets two in a sweep of right end before Filoni bumps him out of bounds. Kozar, a fullback. His coach, the legendary General Robert Neeland. Andy Kozar was the keeper of the flame in a lot of ways. To the Tennessee 15. This they game, the Sugar Bowl game. against Maryland in 1951, ending with the Vols' loss. What a grand sight the bowl presents. Even in the losses, Kozar rallied. We'd lost the first game Mississippi State, and Andy just tore him up. Uh, he probably gained 100, 150 yards, and we won 20 games in a row. Andy got it started there. He's just a, just a fine football player. Jim Haslam spoke with us in 2010 after Kozar's death. The two were college roommates. This photo taken ahead of the 1952 LSU game. Both played for General Neyland, and there were stories. Andy had said that he was not going to join, so Neyland called him to his office, and he, <laughs> Andy said he had his back to him, and he turned around and he said, you will join ROTC. He said, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and walked out, yeah. The right-hand woman to the player turned UT professor, author, father, and husband, Marion Kozar. She's got stories, too. He says, I bet your name is Virginia also, isn't I said, well, as a matter of fact, it is. It's Marion, Virginia. And he said he never met anybody yet from Virginia he could stand. And I married him. Together 57 years. In their house, family came first. They were just a wonderful father and a, and a wonderful husband. Part of Kozar's legacy, the stories the public doesn't know. The jitterbug, honey, what else? <laughs> and I think that's what really sealed it for me when I saw him jitterbug. I mean, you don't find guys back then that could do it. Kozar collected General Neyland's annotated journals, creating the premier guide about his coach a man that shaped Tennessee football as we know it today. And who better to tell those stories than Kozar? He lived it. You knew uh, from the very beginning that he was in charge, he knew what he was doing, and, uh, and you had better not cross him. That was Kozar in his own words, and if we learn anything from his stories and his work documenting General Neyland's journals, it's that Tennessee tradition withstands time.